Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sonia, also known as SG from Let the Lady Speak Podcast, where we discuss life, love, dating, and relationships. And I also do reviews here on my YouTube channel. I am reviewing Put a Ring on It, Season 2, Episode 5, Full Court Press. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please like, share, and comment if you see fit. And let's get into this episode. I just want to let you guys know that I recorded this thing thought I was doing something and the next day went to edit it and it wasn't a lick of sound. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. Also that Alexis, um, video, I recorded that as well. That one did have sound, but I felt like I left a lot of information out. So I want to go through and re-record it. So I will do that. First up, we leave, we pick up where we left off and that is with Lex going out to her car to kind of catch some air because of her frustration with Darian. And one thing I noticed about them too is that there's a huge lack of communication. And I know Liz, I mean Liz, Lex talks about that a lot, but it was really, really obvious because Darian is projecting onto Lex what her issue is versus hearing what her issue is. Her issue isn't necessarily the girl. Her issue is that, you know, you're making light of this. You're having fun. You're not considering my feelings. You're not considering what this means to me. Now, this is a process and the process is the process and he has a right. And I think what Dr. Nicole is trying to get them to understand is that you have no control over your partner or your outcome. You yourself have to make a decision about what you want and how you're going to operate out of a relationship based on how your partner is acting. And I'm not quite sure that they're really getting that, but I think Lex gets it because she kind of changes her mood later. And I really, I was really so proud of her. Like, I'm like, yes, girl. Yes. Yes. Um, Darian likes confusion. He functions well in chaos and confusion and that that speaks a lot to where his mind is and I feel like he just needs to focus more but he really needs to listen to her and stop projecting what's happening so Dr. Nicole tells them that this week um who's going to go on a date she reviews who's going to go on a date and Darian is going to go on another date with Kai um Sean is going to go out with Brittany again. Eric and LaRonda are going to just focus on the issues in their relationship. And um, Alex, Alexia and Jessica are going to go on dates with new men. So everyone has gotten their assignment. And as they're walking off, Les talks about how she's come to the realization what the assignment really is. And she acknowledges the fact that She's pissed. And one thing I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm talking to the ladies, don't deny yourself. Don't deny your feelings, your thoughts, your fears, your objections will hurt you because the thing is it never goes away. And what happens is you end up becoming resentful. So she said, like, I'm pissed. Like, as I think about, I'm pissed. Yes, you're pissed about all the times that he's lied. You're pissed about all the games that he's playing. You're pissed about the disrespect. You're pissed about things that we know nothing about, right? So yes, you're pissed. And it's okay to own that. Sometimes in relationships, we as women try to comfort our partner and we forget about ourselves. Like, don't forget about you. You are just as, if not more valuable in that relationship than your partner. And yeah, make sure your partner is okay, but you always got to check in with you and make sure you're okay too. And make sure you're being honest and true to yourself. Like basically never forget to protect yourself. Never forget to guard your heart. And if you've given your heart to someone that isn't worthy, it is okay to withdraw that thing. Okay. So I'm happy that let less you know, have that wake up. Next up, we have LaRonda and Sean driving and they go over today's session with Dr. Nicole. And let me say this, they play a lot of games. They play a very dangerous game too, but the, the roles in that relationship is so meshed up. Sean is enjoying having LaRonda uncomfortable and not winning. For the first time, I think he feels like, yeah, now you know how it feels type deal, right? He's very happy. 
I think he feels uh, Brittany is more on his level, whereas he feels like LaRonda is a little bit above him just because of her career and things like that. And she's always winning in the games they play and she rubs it in his face. You know, she constantly reminds him he's not masculine enough, but I'm going to baby you and make sure you okay. So him... In his side, he has the manipulative side that plays along with it because he can get whatever he wants. But at the same time, it bothers his ego. And so he's loving seeing this right now because we're seeing LaRonda squirm a little bit, right? It's like, oh, you know, you and Miss Brittany, uh, is she going to make you feel better than I make you feel? And he's like, I don't know. He knows. He enjoys his time with Brittany. He's also enjoying seeing LaRonda squirm. You got to be real careful about the roles you play in a man's life because it can cause resentment. And resentment a lot of times lead to che leads to cheating. Do I feel like you have to walk on eggshells with your partner? No. But I do feel like you got to recognize what you are getting yourself into and acknowledge the outcome of that and the consequences of that. And if you're okay with that, then you're okay with that. Same thing with um, Kyra and Ready to Love. You play the game. If you play the game, you got to be willing to lose because you may lose, right? Even if you play to win, there's always somebody a little smarter than you, right? So you can't operate out of, I got this and no one can beat me. You got to be confident in yourself. Absolutely. But understand every aspect of the game. So now Sean feels like he finally has crippled um, LaRonda and he's playing on it. So we're going to see what happens. So we're at Lex and Darian's house. And Darian, let me tell you something. When you want to apologize, apologize and be accountable for your own behaviors. You can't say we're, I'm going to apologize, but I need you to apologize too. That's not how that works. It works like this. I apologize for blah, 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 blah. And not, I apologize if I hurt you, if I disrespected you. No, you know exactly what you did. Apologize for what you did. So they're having a conversation because Lex has a date that she's going to go to. And for the first time, Lex, girl, I'm proud of you. Lex was like, you're not about to steal my joy. Not today. <laughs> today, you're not going to steal my joy. I'm not playing these games with you. I don't care about Kai. You're not listening to my major concern and I'm done and I'm about to go get dressed for my date. And I think that was food for thought for Darian because I think that was the first time she stood up to him. Here's the thing. You always have to be careful how you teach people how to treat you. You do that by what you accept, what you acknowledge, what you check what you um, allow, all of these things. You can teach a person to treat you good or bad, right? By what you allow. So be very mindful. Lex has allowed Darian to run amok for many, many years because she just wanted to please him. She just wanted to be, to be back to where it was. She just wanted to get to a point where he will be ready to settle down and get married and have children. And he will see the value in her and that she was riding for him. You see, she advocates for his career more than anyone else. But in the midst of that, she has forgotten about herself. She's lost herself. He's looking for his old Lex. She's trying to be what she thinks he needs to be. And now she's finally waking up and she's like, oh no, I'm about to go on this date. I'm about to take care of myself and I'm about to have a good time. And I'm gonna leave you here to be crazy by yourself, <laughs> which I commend her. Good job, Lex girl. And that lipstick was everything, everything. So Lex goes on her date and she goes out with Monty. They go play basketball. There's lunch or a picnic I don't know at the table they had a little table set up but I, it was nice to see Lex in her element and it was nice to see her relax and smiling and happy and not frustrated you know um they talked about him being married Monty being married before and has a daughter and Lex was like well do you want to get married again do you have children he's like yes but I want a family Lex was like yes but she said she felt like she was herself. 
again, I'm going to always say never lose yourself in a relationship. And we've talked about how Lex has lost herself in this relationship. And it's just always about Darian. I was so proud when she finally was like, now, I don't want to talk about him at all. When Monty asked about her last relationship, she was like, uh -uh, let's talk about you. Let's talk about us. Let's have a conversation. I was like, that is so good, girl. You better do the thing. So she did it. I'm very proud of her. Um, and he said he wanted another date. So like I said, you know, Darian's going to really have to up his game if he wants to top Monty. Do you guys think that Darian is going to up his game? Do you think he's going to change and be what Lex needs him to be so that they can have a healthier relationship? Comment below and let me know. Guys, if you hear a lot of background noise, they're more on the lawn. And because I'm re-recording this video, I don't want to wait till later. I have some things to do later on. Next up, we have Jessica go on her date. Her date takes her to a tequila bar because she likes tequila. And Jess is throwing the shots back and the date is like taking it slow. Um, I don't know how I feel about him. Something about him has my spidey senses sensing. But anyway, they, you know, seem to have a good time. They talk about family. He wants to get married. He wants to have more children. We find out Jessica has two children. He has two children. They both have two daughters. Um, and the things that are important to him. But some again, something about him. I don't know. We're gonna see how it moves forward, but Mm. he seems nice on the surface but again I don't know but anyway they seem to enjoy each other and that's pretty much it for their date so next Darian goes to see Dr. Nicole for a one-on-one -on -one. good job Darian <laughs> Darian's like listen I have lost control of my life <laughs> I've lost control of my house uh Lex is not entertaining my bull anymore and that is a red flag for me how do i get this back on track but in all seriousness he says something that's very important and that is she plays tough so my perception is this darian is trying to get certain things from lex he wants her femininity he wants to have fun he wants her to open up and just see the more softer side. He wants to know that he's needed and things like that, right? That's just what I believe. And because Lex is has this tough exterior and she's hard up, he feels like he can't get to the core of her. He can't get to the heart of her. Now, question is, A, what have you, how did you contribute to that? Oh, sorry guys. You know, I think a lot of times people forget you trained me to be this way with you. Darian hasn't been honest. He hasn't been straightforward. He has been doing shady things. She's trying to protect herself. And Dr. Nicole was saying that, like, you know, she may have to play tough. The fact that she's doing this and you caused it, just as Dr. Nicole said, you have to create a safe space for her. And a lot of times we have to do that with our partners. When we've overcome, when you've overcome so much with a person, you know, you have to earn back a place that you previously had. It just doesn't come to you and it may never get back completely to where it was or it may take a really long time and a whole lot of work. That is the consequence of your actions and you can choose to stay or you can choose to go, right? And then the other thing is, ladies, never forget your femininity and your womanhood will win all the time, every time. You know, I notice how Lex can be very hard, very masculine. I talked before about like how she slumps over and just kind of how she operates. If she was to eventually soften up, if she felt like it was a safe space to do so, um, it would help her and him. Because at the end of the day, every strong, independent woman wants to be able to put that cape down. We want a place to lay our head. We don't want to do it all our own all the time. We don't want to be so hard all the time. Like it becomes exhausting after a while. Initially you think it's cool, right? But after a while it becomes too much. And then when you add another person with that, so now you have you yourself and then you have your mate or your husband, your partner, and then you add children that just piles more and more on to you. So don't forget about your womanhood and your femininity. And there's a lot of power 
that lies within those energies. But at the same time, you have to have a partner who allows that to be a safe space. That was actually my very first podcast. I'm going to link it below and it's titled creating a safe space for your mate. And that came, that was born out of a situation that I thought back on, um, when COVID happened, like, I couldn't imagine living with him during this quarantine. <laughs> I really couldn't. Have. And, but I wanted to know, I wanted to put out there, like this would have made things better for me. Luckily we were broken up and I didn't have to go through that process with him. But you know, this is not about me. This is about the show. So I'll put it down there to check it out. Child, Hardcore Press is the, is the correct title for this show, this, this episode, because listen, Brittany is putting it on Sean heavy, walking to the light. Anyway, so Sean and Brittany go on their third date and they're having tea and croissants and they're just, you know, talking and Brittany basically is trying to fill out where, where Sean is. Sean plays a lot of games though. I know I keep saying that, but he does. And he's playing a game now. He's very calculated in the words he used. And I like that Brittany checked him on that low key because he was like, you know, you're so silly. I love it though. You know? And she was like, Oh, you like it? And he was like, no, I, I said, I love it. And you said, I like it. She was like, cause that's what you meant. Like, yeah, I see you, but Brittany, I don't know what you're doing, girl. Because <laughs> here's the thing, when you see a person operate one way with you versus another, understand how they treat that other woman eventually will be how they treat you. Because some things are just nature for that person. Um, Sean talks about how this is the first time he's been faithful as far as relationships, his relationship with LaRonda. He hasn't cheated on any kind of way. He usually like has side people. And for me, the bottom line is I'm like, Sean just needs to constantly feed his ego. Sean, just go to therapy. Like just go get some help. Just talk about all the things that, that plagues you and follows you, you know? Um, because I, I don't, I don't understand his goal. I don't understand what he wants. I don't understand his true love and passion for LaRonda, right? What I really think it is, is she's a, she's security for him. She's going to baby him. She's going to take care of him. She's going to provide for him. But at the same time, let him tell it, it kind of hits his ego and he doesn't want that, you know? Uh, where's your true issue with commitment? Because yes, men can have a hard time committing if they feel like they're not where they need to be. But how hard are you really working to get to where you need to be so that you can be this man in a relationship? Like where's the battery in your back? I don't see it. I just see Sean playing a lot of games. So Jessica, you've been projecting the whole time. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, so Dr. Nicole goes to see Eric and Jessica. And what we learn is the trust issues that they have isn't from Eric. It isn't just from how they got together and things like that, which I think my first episode, I said, you know, he cheated in the beginning. He did, Well, he was with someone else. You got with him. And then you guys did this thing. You get together. Um, but y'all been together three years and he hasn't cheated on you since. So what is the issue? The issue is you've been projecting the whole time and you're scared that he's going to give back to you what you gave to him. So we find out that when Eric was at his lowest during the transition of him losing, you know, losing his identity as an athlete to trying to figure out what he's going to do next, Erica wasn't getting uh, Jessica, I'm sorry. Jessica wasn't getting what she needed. And her solution to that was to talk to another guy. They break up within a week. She's sleeping with this guy and this guy is also an athlete. So Jessica, how do you think he is supposed to feel? How do you think he's supposed to trust you? You did the one thing that men worry about the most, that if I commit to you, you're going to train, you're going to change or you're going to betray me. You betrayed him when he was at his lowest. Now, if she had, because they talked about this, where Jessica never communicated that she wasn't getting what she needed. If she had gone to him and said, I'm not getting what I need 
and then he completely ignored her, that doesn't excuse cheating because, you know, there's still accountability there for you. Whatever you put out in the universe, be prepared to get it back. But it also says that, you know, you guys were actually working at it. You didn't even give him a chance. It just showed that you were selfish. You felt like you weren't getting your needs met. So you stepped out. And yes, I know ladies going to say men do it all the time. It's not right for either sex. It's just not right. And just like you don't want it. So now you've been worrying all these years about him cheating on you because you cheated on him. You've been worrying about him hopping on something else because you know deep down inside that he could reverse that table and you don't want to feel it. Like Jessica, girl, you need to be accountable and you need to properly apologize and you need to ask Eric, what is it that I can do that's going to make you trust me again? Like you owe him that if you want to continue this relationship. She's like, well, why can't you just believe me and get over it? I hate when people say that. You don't get to tell another person how they can heal. You can remove yourself if you feel like it's unfair. You can choose not to move forward and entertain it, but you don't get to tell anybody else how to handle what you have done to cause them harm. And the best place for her to start is to say, I am sorry. You know, I'm sorry for cheating on you. I'm sorry for cheating on you at your lowest and find out what would make that right. Instead, you want to stand your ground and you're making demands to be treated a certain way and to be trusted when what have you done to regain that trust? And that's for men and women. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Eric is sincere in him wanting to be with her. There's things that he feels that's missing, of course, like the depths of conversation. But Jessica has basically done this to herself. And so you have to do the work to reverse that. Just like if the tables were turned, he would have to do the work to reverse that. And you can choose to do the work or you can choose to walk away. But don't act like they don't have a right to still feel the way that they feel based on what you did. So Darian goes on his date with Kai. Child, Kai, girl. <laughs> Listen, ladies, sex, good looks, and superficial things in general will only keep someone's interest for a limited time. Kai's not listening to what uh, Darian is saying because this is a competition for Kai and she feels like she's the baddest and I can take your man. And you're being disrespectful once again because you're stepping out of bounds, but he's allowing it. Okay. So that's why ladies don't go fighting the other woman. You never know what this man is telling this woman. Just like Kai doesn't really know what's going on in Darian's relationship. All she knows is what Darian is telling her. She doesn't know everything that happened or why Lex is where she is with him or why they are where they are. And so you're gossiping as if, you know, you don't know. And, and you have no idea what it's like to be with that man. All you know is that his name is Smoke, Phil Mob, and he, he likes looking at you and he's having trouble in paradise. He's already told you, I'm going to work it out with her. I want to be with her. That right there should have been your sign. After that, I would have been like, okay, well, we just cool. Like if you want, if they have to keep going on the dates, if she can't refuse a date, um, we're just going to be cool. We're just going to hang out because I'm not even going to talk about us in the future anymore because you've let me know you want to move forward with her. But instead, Kai is playing his game. Like, you know, I'm going to convince you to want me. You're not winning anything with that. So this time he says, I love her. And basically he's like, you know, Darian pretty much said, hey, I'm just worried about the next date. If I get a next date, she may not be you. I have fun with you. You know, Kai reminds Darian of the past. I've said this before. It's just about him living in the past. But Darian, you have to grow up. It's time to grow up. It's time to get your mind right. It's time to make some decisions. It's time to give that woman that you say you love what she deserves. And she deserves the best of you. She does not deserve the crap that you're trying to give her. And that's just the bottom line. Kai, you got to know your place. And you say you're not the help. But that is exactly 
what you are. He just told you that's what you are. Accept that, right? Accept what it is because he's going to keep doing what he's doing because it's being allowed. You as an individual got to set your own boundaries. Kai needs to set her own boundaries because he's let you know, yeah, you're the help. I love my woman. So eventually he's going to go back home if she will allow it. But honey, Lex got one foot out the door. So Darian has to put his actions in overdrive. But yeah, Kai is doing a little bit too much. Him and her and Brittany, ladies do better. You be accountable and respectful of another woman. Because I'm telling you, karma will serve you up something cold on a diamond platter. So the couples are back with Dr. Nicole. First up, we have Sean and LaRonda. And Dr. Nicole asks how his date with, with LaRonda, um, I'm sorry, Dr. Nicole asks how his date with Brittany went. And Sean's like, so Sean is smiling and giggling. He's like, yeah, it went well. And he tells this whole story about how she missed her bus to go to a show. And he almost went to the show because he felt bad. You know, sometimes we miss the message and what people are saying, right? And this is happening across the board with all these couples. A lesson I learned a long time ago because I used to be in a very different place. Someone told me that your messages are valid, but your delivery is wrong. And people can't hear you past your delivery. And so basically that is what's happening. What Sean is trying to let LaRonda know is he wants, he likes to feel wanted and needed, which every man does, right? He wants to feel wanted and needed and value, right? But she wants to be his mother. Like in that moment, I was like, you got to stop mothering him. I know I've said that before, but she's like, well, what that got to do with just how she was talking to him? He makes sure everybody else is okay because you present yourself as being a-okay and you don't need anything. You just need his presence. That's not enough for a man. You have to let him know where he brings value. Yeah, he has to have confidence in himself, but if you're always babying him, if you take care of him, you're the financial provider, what does he bring to you? And I can't get, like for my, the life of me for these two, I can't understand besides them having a codependent relationship, I don't know what's the glue unless it's just codependency. And it could be that a lot of people operate out of that, you know? Um, but where's the passion? Where's the love? What's holding them together? I just don't get it. Anyway, you know, he said he didn't want to go on another date, but he really, you can tell by his face, he really did. He just didn't want to upset LaRonda because they've had a rough week, as he said. And LaRonda was sitting there like, yeah, that's good. No, you don't want another date. Okay. You're mine. Um, and then so... Sean says, I can't wait to build with, I didn't want to build with Brittany and I can build with LaRonda, AKA she's a safety net. So he's not going to go out with Brittany. LaRonda's happy. He's sick to his stomach. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> so next up is Lex and she talks about her date with Monty and Dr. Nicole asked her how her date went. She said it went well. They had a great conversation. He was articulate. Um, and she enjoyed herself. And I'm like, yeah, girl. She even smiled a little bit. And she was like, yeah, I beat him in basketball. But you can see the shift in Lex. You know, and so they asked Darian, how do you feel about it? And he was like, I'm happy she got to do what she loves, play basketball and pop bottles. So he's okay with it, we think. Next up, Jessica talks about her date and Jessica says how they have a lot in common. They both have two children and they love family. And um, she basically, yeah, she wants to go on another date with him. I don't think Jessica is picking up on Eric's energy and where he is. And she may be and be okay with it. Jessica wants the fairy tale drama, fight for me, play with me, only want me. And like I said before, Jessica's immature and she has to really grow up. And I don't think she really realized that her person, her partner is revolving, is evolving, sorry, to 
another person. Like he wants more and you want to play kid games, but he's like, there's more there. I think Eric will be fine with still going out partying and drinking and popping bottles and turning up as she says, but Eric also wants more. But you are stuck in a place where you are just dying for a certain amount of attention, no matter what. And that's really where, you know, I feel like Jessica is. But Eric said, you know, when Dr. Nicole asked Eric, how do you feel about her going on another date? And what she said, Eric was like, we just got to get to the end goal. So Eric's thing is either we stand or we going. I think Eric really loves Jessica and he has feelings for her, but I think he's fed up and he's tired. Not to mention the fact that you've betrayed him to the level that you have and you're kind of being dismissive of his feelings and his thoughts on it. No one really bounces back when your partner treats you like that, you know? Um, but the focus still has to remain on her and being treated as though nothing happened. And that it isn't easy. It isn't easy for a female or a male. And to be honest, the fact that Eric is still there says a lot. A lot of men don't stay after they've been cheated on, especially if they've been cheated on when they were at their lowest. And he, according to them, or they haven't said, hasn't cheated on her in return. Um, so that actually says more than one may think and it's like jessica you need to decide you need to stop playing games because you know she looked to the side and rolled her eyes when he was like you know whatever we got to do to get to the end goal she needs to go on another date she can go on another date that's not what she wants she wants him to beg her not to but just like lex Eric has a foot out the door. So you have a decision to make. Either you're going to do the work to try to work to stay together or you're going to walk away. And everybody has a right. We all have choices. So we go back to Darian and Darian talks about his date with Kai. And he said, she lets me know that she's catching feelings. And I don't know if Kai said that she's catching feelings more so than she is like, I don't want to be on the side and I want you to choose me over her. I, I, that's not the same as catching feelings, right? Cause Kai is playing games anyway. Um, you know, Darian said it's going to be repercussions. If you ask me, if I want to go back to Kai, go back on another day with Kai and I be honest and say, yes, again, Darian, you're throwing these daggers. Just say, I, just say what the problem is. Just say what you want from Lex. Like just say it, but be careful with your words. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Just say it. Say you miss your friend. Say you wanna hang out. Ask what can you do to get back to that place versus playing these mind games. So, you know, Lex is sitting over there like she has had it. Her blood, blood is boiling but she's allowed Darian to play these games all these years and now this is where we are Darian has been playing these games all these years and now he may be at the point of no return because she has literally have her body out the door she is tired of him <laughs> so um you know Lex says you know Darian I'm sorry so Darian says well I'm gonna you know, I'm not going to go on another date because she has a problem with this girl. Stop saying that. She doesn't have a problem with her necessarily. She has a problem with the fact that you allow Kai to disrespect her relationship and to disrespect her. When Kai laughed in her face the other week, that was disrespectful to her. And you won't acknowledge that. And you wouldn't cut the situation off after your partner expressed their concerns, right? So again, you're not creating a safe space for her. You make her feel like she's by herself and that you won't protect her, which is your job as her partner. Not even as a man, as your partner. As when two people are together and you guys have decided to be in a monogamous relationship, you've decided to protect one another from any outside forces because you decided that it's just the two. If you allow outside forces to come in and ruin your relationship, that is on you. And that's what Darian has done because Darian is trying to get attention and he's trying to live his past and he's not communicating properly what it is that he really wants and needs from Lex, nor is he allowing Lex the opportunity to express herself to say what she needs 
from him. Um, it's just a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess. But anyway, Dr. Nicole uh, calls out Lex for basically letting him know if you go on another day, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be trouble, trouble. And Dr. Nicole was like, you know, that's that's control. Lex is looking like, I don't care. I'm just letting him know you go on another date with her. And that's it because you're playing around and you're trying to do too much. And he is. He wants to create all of this illusion around him. But it's going to be the downfall of their relationship. So he's not going to go on another date with Kai. But Dr. Nicole said, I want you to go on a date with Lex. Lex was like, no, no, absolutely not. She's like, I don't want to deal with him. Darian, if you want to save this relationship, you better put your you better put your tux on and really get to working. But in all honesty, find out what it is that she really needs from you. Listen to her sincerely. And the best apology is to change in action. Change your actions to reflect it. You know, create a safe environment for her. Create a healthy environment for her. Um, and you'll get to a softer, more feminine side to her. But you're going to get that wall and that toughness, you know, and we do sometimes play too tough and you do have to stop that. Like I said earlier, you can get more out of your femininity, but it has to be the right place because we automatically want to defend ourselves if we feel like we're not being protected. And Darian, you're not doing a good job of protecting your lady or your relationship. So that is it. I can't wait to see what's going to happen this Friday, child. Woo. But anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you agree with what I had to say or if you disagree or if you had anything in addition to say. I always appreciate your interaction. I appreciate you coming to the uh, channel. I will also leave two links to two of my podcasts below. Check them out if you see fit and let me know what you think about those. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Love you for who you are. Thank you for letting me speak. Take care. Bye-bye.